Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back. It's Charlie. It is Sunday, April 12th, 2020. It's about 4.36 in the afternoon or evening. Hey, afternoon. <clears throat> Happy Easter. It is Easter. Today is Easter of 2020. Uh, never really, I get this, never really expecting for us to Wow, for just me alone spending Easter like this, I mean, I, I actually, I went out and, uh, <clears throat> I was going to go get some groceries, but everything I needed, luckily, I was able to find on sale across the street at Vallarta, luckily. Um, I just uh, had the problem with that store, but, uh, so I did that, and you know, a fair amount of people in there. There was actually at that time of the morning, there was actually no people waiting. So maybe, maybe we are getting the message. I don't know. I guess it just depends on what kind of a uh, vibe everybody's feeling because sometimes it seems like there's more people than, than other times. So I don't know, kind of like maybe when you see like birds, the way they manage to synchronize and just flock everywhere and just swarm and swoop almost to a ballet really choreographed that's what it seems like nowadays when you go into a shopping center or grocery store but anyway because <clears throat> even today you know uh easter it's kind of like a thanksgiving or a christmas it's a last minute day and getting your last goods or whatever for a big Thanksgiving dinner. So in this case, it would have been an Easter dinner. And so we're social distancing. So that means we're not making big Easter dinners and stuff like that. You know, I actually, uh, I have this thing. I, I, I love honey baked ham. And uh, just for shits and giggles, I went onto the website just to see. Cause I, I'd be like, hey, you know, maybe... It's not too much. I'd, I'd I'd like to order one, you know. Whoa, <clears throat> I haven't seen how I haven't actually bought a honey baked ham in twenty years, maybe I think. But yeah, they're pretty expensive. I used to work for Honey Baked Ham when I lived in Saint Petersburg, Florida. I worked for them part time for oddly enough for an Easter, and that was uh. Pretty interesting part time. It was hard actually, but uh, I worked in the back, handling the hams and everything, preparing them and making them all that specially honey glazed stuff. It's a pretty interesting process, though it's not what it sounds like. It's completely different, but it's still good nonetheless. <clears throat> but it is Easter. Um, you know, <clears throat> today is definitely going to be an Easter that I'll remember. Um, miracles do happen. <clears throat> um, and I've always talked about how there's always miracles that happen in my life. And you, you've kind of seen and you've kind of experienced with me and you've heard me talk about certain things that happen in my life, certain stories, and, uh, near misses and accidents and uh, bullets that I've dodged, more or less. And every time when something that I wanted to happen doesn't happen, it's still for the good because it's kind of like the way I've, kind of like the way I've grown used to life since being homeless and the way I the way I view life to best suit for me as far as maybe not to I guess it's a way to to protect myself not to give up too much hope so I always say the light at the end of the tunnel even when I was homeless you know I, I couldn't see an end of the light of the tunnel except for a tiny little speck and when I got in here, then just before that, you know, that light just got a little bit brighter, a little bit 
bigger. Incrementally, life has been that way. <clears throat> no, I've gotten not to the end of the tunnel yet. Um, I don't think we ever do get to the end of the tunnel. Um, the light, I think, is, for, for me at least, it's, I think the light is forever growing. It's never completely revealed until the final end. For, for me to get, I guess, religiously, uh, it doesn't reveal until, you know, until you die. And then that's when the light is revealed. Um, but today I had a special meeting uh, online. And I can say only that it was pretty incredible. It was uh, definitely an, an Easter miracle. Hopefully, I will be able to talk about this soon, but uh, <clears throat> but it was uh, it was pretty cool. It was really pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I guess it's definitely I can take it as an affirmation that I'm I'm doing. I'm doing good in life. I mean, I'm doing something right. <clears throat> I'm maintaining. I'm doing what I'm not supposed to be doing, I guess. Uh, but I'm doing that and more. I don't know. I can't. I can't really. I can't say anything. But um, definitely. Uh, a good good Easter for me most certainly uh, for 2020 in the midst of all this <sighs> contactless delivery uh, social distancing six feet apart um, must cover up when you leave your home to the moment you get back home being in your vehicle, you don't have to wear a mask unless you're going through a drive through or depending on what kind of city or county you're going through. Oh, yeah, 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 all these rules now. Kid you not, yeah, you can be in your car, but if you go through a drive through you have to actually be wearing the mask before you do order. Something like that, but yeah. <clears throat> or if you get pulled over, uh, you know, like on the freeway or a street or by a cop, you better make sure that you have that thing on too. So, yeah, there's a lot of, yeah, pretty, pretty interesting. Um, and it changes, right? It changes day to day. Uh, it seems like on a daily basis, if not hourly by hour, you know, uh, more so on the weekday than on the weekend. Um, but, uh yeah, in the middle of all this craziness, it, it yeah, I had I definitely had a really, really, I don't even know how to describe. I am completely wordless, speechless. I don't know. And I'm not, <clears throat> and I'm not trying to build up any anticipation. It's just I can't tell you right now, but it's 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 just really cool. And it, it, you'll you'll be you'll be very happy and very pleased once I able to tell you. But <clears throat> even I want to try to convey is that you know it just. Even though we think we're in the darkest times of our lives right now, especially, you know, more so than, than any other time in the past than we've gone through. Because, you know, for us, pretty much, you know, 9-11 and um, the uh, 2008 crash was pretty, pretty devastating. And uh, we never really thought that we'd get through this or survive that, especially 9-11, we were, we were all pretty, pretty freaked out, pretty scared. I know my wife and I at that time, we, 
I mean, that was a pretty special morning for us. Come to find out, turn on the TV, you know, one of the towers is on fire. I'm yelling at my wife, come down here, look at this. You know, one of the towers is on fire. She comes down, and then shortly thereafter, the second plane smashes in. And, you know, that morning was the morning of uh, our first baby ultrasound, you know. And that was supposed to be a morning that we were supposed to remember for the rest of our lives, you know, an important time. And from there, we were just going to make decisions, you know, even more so. We'd be overshadowed by 9-11. So, and for me, it was March 13th, my birthday, when all this stuff started going down, when school started getting shut down, it became more real, and more rules were instructed and everything, so... But even in the middle of all that, this, and everything else that's going on, it's, I gotta say, and I gotta tell you, that something, there's always something that's gonna happen. Maybe they won't find a cure, maybe it's not a cure, um, maybe people will not stop dying, I don't know, maybe it'll just disappear like some freakish weird science fiction movie i don't know maybe maybe you'll get uh extra amount or something that you weren't expecting on the stimulus check maybe maybe you'll win a lottery maybe you'll maybe you'll win something maybe you'll gain something but whatever it is i gotta tell you however small it is if anything positive good happens today the holiest days of all days. Take it as to be more special. Because this morning I'm taking it. Just It's my Easter miracle. It's. It's. It's Harvey the movie, in a way, kind of, in a way, I don't know, I, it's just, it, it's just, it's weird, it's just weird, but <clears throat> the miracles do happen. Alright, so, I just wanted to touch bases with you folks, and uh, just let you know, it, things, things will get better, it, it's, it, it should start to get better from, uh, from here on in, um, hopefully, we can just get the economy rolling again because uh, we we got a lot of we got a lot of people out there that are jobless and we gotta we gotta start <clears throat> we really 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 have to slow down and stop thinking abroad now now more than ever we have to start thinking locally and in our own backyard um, I know there's other people in worse conditions than us in the midst of all this crap that's going on. But ladies and gentlemen, friends, family, I, we need to start thinking about repairing ourselves and our country first because the sooner we can get this done, the less that there will be to pay in the long run. It, it doesn't make sense, but it, it, it will. Um, just whatever, donate whatever money or time that you are locally to your local community, organization, food bank, homeless, shelter, whatever, uh, domestic violence. Just help, just help local within your town, city, and county, and state, uh, or within your own country. But just let's keep, let's keep together right now and we really have to start thinking because I think we're going to start to get on an upswing. So let's just think, think locally right now. And then, then once we fix ourselves, then we can start to, to think outside. But it's just like I say, and with that being said, 
You folks take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but always take care of yourselves first. Love one another, trust one another, be kind to each other, help one another. Don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for the moment, pull down your pants and slide on that ice. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button. Tell your friends and family about me about us, what's going on. And uh, yeah, it's, it's Easter 2020. Indoors, no Easter egg hunt and, you know, no Easter egg hunt on the front lawn either. So that's, that's kind of, you know, national, national tradition. So that's it, my friends, just Skype, Zoom, Google Duo, FaceTime, whatever you can to be with families or friends or others that you can't normally visit today. Uh, things will be different this time next year. So, all right, my friends, stay safe, and I will upload this shortly. Until then, stay smart, stay safe, and anything that happens today or that has happened today is something to be taken extra special today. Remember that. Easter miracles do happen. I wouldn't lie to you. I definitely would not lie to you about that. All right. I love you. Bye.